Hi there, Cancer. This is a Snoidshare. This is a reading from the 15th of April 2020 to April the 30th. Now, my camera's not working, which is why I had to do my readings in this fashion, so please bear with me. So I'm using Amy Sophia Marashinsky's Oracle Goddess deck, as you all know that I usually do. And I'm going to talk on behalf of the person who you're dealing with or a person that you want to be dealing with in a romantic level. It's pretty good, the reading so far, what I saw, so let's get to it. My dear Cancer, the first thing right now on my mind is just love. All I think about is how much I love you. How much everything about you I feel is so perfect. And how you'd be able to be the perfect person to be with in my life. Partner. When I see you, I see so much abundance. So much that I can learn from you. And I'm holding this all back. And all I want to do is open up to you and tell you how I feel about you. Because I do have a lot of feelings for you. I want to actually joke around and play with you just to get things going. Just to flirt, maybe. Have some fun. Go out somewhere. It is difficult right now, especially with the circumstances. You might not know this, but I want a relationship with you. I want you to be the person that I can trust. The person I can rely on. The person I can be romantically involved with and love and cherish. This has been going on for many moons now. Somehow I feel that I'm supposed to be with you. And I can't help myself. There's things about you that are so sensual. You're just such a sensual person. You're beautiful. The way you move, the way you talk, the way your body moves, hands are so graceful. Your eyes, the contour of your body, the shininess of your skin. It's so beautiful. I do have feelings and emotions for you. And all I want is to have peace and harmony and open up to you about how I feel because I have completely surrendered myself to you. You might not know this, but I am totally yours. Head over heels. Wow, Cancer. You guys are really lucky. <laughs> this person. It's beautiful. Every single card was gorgeous. I was so happy when I saw this. Yes. The next slide has the other reading. So let's see this. What's going to happen in the near future? What actions is this person going to take? So it does seem as if this person has taken time off or they had taken time off or maybe they will they'll take time off to think about things they are just going to ignore a few aspects of the situationship or the relationship for a while but their intentions are to come back together with you again they want a reconciliation they want to be with you they feel like there's a connection between you a soulmate connection twin flame connection they hope to take you out on maybe a date Maybe for drinks, maybe to a movie, but they do want some time alone with you. There's so much about you that they find irresistible. They can't resist you, Cancer. They just can't resist you. They also feel like now they have tamed the beast within and they have much more strength than ever before and they want to be with you. They're ready for it. They feel this. So most likely they will be approaching you. There's still a little bit of thinking going on, but eventually it's inevitable. This person will come and contact you, Cancer. The bottom portion here does say get more information, which was under the bottom of the deck. These are Dorian Virtues decks. And forgiveness. So something may have happened between you both where one of you, or maybe both of you, have to forgive yourselves, each other. So go on and do that. But you should do that after you get more information. Maybe there's some misunderstanding that you just didn't realize something had happened and you had the wrong information. So, Cancer, do get more information 
about the situation that you're perhaps upset about or uneasy about, find out what's wrong. And most likely you will be able to forgive this person. And you'll wonder like, why was I even going through this in the first place? All I had to do was get more information. This person really does care about you. They genuinely love you. They are head over heels for you. It's worth it. The next card here also says release. So do release any negative energies, any repetitive patterns, anything that you have done that no longer serves you, just release it. There's certain things that, you you know, as people we hold on to and it's not needed. It's just an extra burden on our life and a weight on our shoulders. Just leave it. So it does say release certain things. I would almost say release and forgiveness is almost in the same category here. You know, you forgive somebody, therefore you're releasing that burden. So I believe that you should keep an open mind and give this person a chance. Ear chakras. So you will be hearing a lot in your mind, intuition. You'll be understanding that there's certain messages that may be coming to you. And you should listen to this. This is your inner intuition. That's generally not wrong. So overall, Cancer, I do feel that this person is going to approach you. For sure, this person really does love you. I mean, I have not really seen a reading so far that has been this beautiful. Every single card was so nice in regards to emotions. So hopefully you keep it up and forgiveness is key. All right, guys, I'll see you in May. Until then, do take care of yourselves. Love you all. Bye-bye.